What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 Combat League video. And today, we're going to be playing Garrus because you guys actually voted for him. I've been doing these polls here and there in the community section of my channel. So definitely be sure to go subscribe and check that out. Because I've been having a ton of fun getting you guys involved in what characters we should be playing for these videos. So of course, like I said, Garrus got picked. So we're rocking Bed of Spikes, Shifting Sands, and Quicksand. Essentially, this is just Infinite Warden. Garrus, this has pretty much been my setup when I play this character. Uh, but I take out the Gauntlet of Ages because I honestly never really use it and put the Shifting Sands because it's a, such an interesting move. Look at it. It's it's so weird. I don't think anybody knows how to deal with it yet. I don't even know what it does, basically. Nice breakaway. We're going to go with the down one. But yeah, Garrus is just an awesome, awesome character. He's just been... He's kind of just been doing his thing since the game came out. Ooh, full combo. He's kind of just been doing his thing came, when he came out, you know. He's got uh, quite a few different ways to play him. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, we almost got the Flawless. That would have been sick. Hold on. Point low. I'm gonna roll. I remember back when Garrus first came out. Or, I mean, when this game first came out. And Garrus was literally the best character in the game. Nice blocks. Alright, there we go. But... My way of playing this character is all around the forward two with the bed of spikes because he just does so much damage. It's 35% minimum. 35% minimum. Nice breakaway. I'm gonna break. Oh, he didn't go bicycle kick. I only broke because I didn't want him to get the, uh, to get some bicycle kicks locked and loaded. Nothing. Nice grab. But he also has, like, one of the most insane throw loops in the game, too. All of, both his forward throw and his back throw leave him really, really close. To his opponent to follow up with a forward two or another throw oh no he rolled behind me no oh that was a bummer that was a bummer this is huge damage he went low again nothing there ah nice down one all right i just uh we can't be in the corner we cannot be in the corner and i can't believe that he rolled right past me i thought he was gonna be in front of me for the forward two i could have ducked that last one Go for the grab. I'm pretty sure he was ducking right there. I'm surprised the uh, I'm surprised that grab worked. But yeah, it leaves us right here for another grab. I'm not gonna let him do that. Nice blocks. But yeah, that's the scary thing about Garrus. Is he gonna go Oh, that was a really nice read. I could have gone forward too right there. Is he gonna go with the uh with the grab or am I going forward too for better spikes damage? But this guy's Liu Kang is turning up right now. Go for the grab, keep him in the corner. It's literally just one combo and then one fatal blow string. I read that roll. He might do another roll or an up three right here. He likes to press a button on a wake up delay. Caught him. I think this might be game. Is it? Down two. Down two. Jump back. Got him. Nice. There we go, Garrus. The crazy damage. We didn't even need the fatal blow. I said it's one combo and a fatal blow. It was literally just one combo with a double meter burn. That's what I really, really like about Bed of Spikes. If you need to cash out on some big, big damage, you do forward two, one into Bed of Spikes, and then you could do like a forward three into the time freeze meter burn. I mean, the character's just got so many options. And I didn't even use Quicksand once. I did not even use Quicksand once. His armor breaker and arguably, I mean, it is his only projectile in this variation. But we're going up against a Scorpion here. Is he gonna be playing? What does he want to do? Reborn? Burning Spectre, or is he going with the uh, Searing Rage option? We'll see. I think this is uh, this is just straight up Reborn Scorpion. So we got some teleport cancels to deal with. And I don't think we could be doing the air to airs because he's got Demon Slam. So we'll see. We'll see what this brings us. I think I'm going to use Shifting Sands a little bit more though. I used it once and like the guy just completely shut down. He didn't know what to do. But I feel like you need to set it up properly because it takes a little bit of time. He didn't press. Oh! Alright, already off the bat doing the cancel. At least we got rid of the forward two. And now it's our turn to do some huge damage. Let me see if I can double meter burn this. Oh, with the double down two. Oh my goodness, are we breaking 50? No. We got 45. That was still disgusting though. Oh, that messes up their jump. As soon as I press the button. As soon as I press the button to go forward. Nice grab. Uh, do I up two? Yep. Nice breakaway. I'm gonna go for the grab now. He is ducking a lot of the grab, so I'm kind of hesitant to do that, but... 
There we go. That should be the round. Stagger the forward two and do it again. He thought I was going to go for another grab. But no, we're doing forward two because why not? Why not? Hold this guy. Jump over. Ah! Oh my goodness. The timing on that quicksand. I meant to do it down one. Nothing. But yeah, when, you, when I'm playing Garrus, you're just going to see a bunch of forward two ones. No. Stay there. Stay in the sifting sands. What? He grabbed? I should have down dude. I should have seen the grab coming. I'm going to up two. Wow. Sent him to the stratosphere with that one. All right. Into the bed of spikes for the maximum damage at the end. That puts us at 31. Oh, no. I did not want to put myself here. Thankfully, that's been working. Because I just staggered forward to one. So the last hit, he's, uh, he's not expecting. Back throw. Nice. It's looking like this could be it. Yes. Let's go, Garrus. Very nice. I'll take that. GG's. GG's to that guy. That was actually a really, really fun set. A good way to start off the Garrus video. Nice and clean. Some really nice combos with better spikes. And also some classic forward two and throw mix-up game. Just what makes Garrus so deadly. But anyway, don't go anywhere. That was set number one. I'll see you guys in set number two for more custom Garrus. All right, and we're back for some more Garrus. I'm not going to lie, though. This guy did have a Jade calling card. And usually when we see something like that on this channel, I think we know it's about to ensue. We're about to take an L to Jade. That's... Oh, okay. He's going Shiva. He's going Shiva, which I don't know. I don't know what I would rather deal with right now. We're going to see what kind of Shiva we're dealing with. Is it a Shiva that's going to non-stop dragon drop? Yep. That's what he's going to do. And that rhymed. That rhymed. I'm kind of sad it did, though, because this is about to be a nightmare if he just spams the dragon drop. But hopefully... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are off to a great start here, folks. Up two. Not going to let him. I just can't let him jump. Just can't let him jump. I'm going to forward dash. Back throw. It's literally just a guess. It's just a guess at this point. <laughs> On if he's going to go forward, backwards, or... Go for the grab now. Jump into grab. I just got to put the absolute insane pressure on and not let him go for the jump. What? I thought he was blocking right there. That's the armor break. That's why he went right for it, I believe. But still, 30%. That's the unblockable. Oops. Oh, I got to do the far one. Ah, come on. What? It didn't work. Oh, what a bummer. Jeez. That up two sends them flying. All right. Garrus, we are not going to let this defeat us. We are going to figure this out. Caught him on the counter. Is that a crush? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Caught him. Let's see if he breaks. Oh, I'm dropping that. I think it's stand four. That's my bad. That is my bad. Nice grab. Well, we already got half of his health down, so that's important. Oh, jeez. I think I need to just stand in place or backdash. I don't know. No punish? Auto of meter. No, I just missed out on that meter. There we go, though. We got it. Still alive? There we go. Stand one on the jump over. He got himself out of the corner, but like I said, it's pressure's on. Don't let him drag and drop. Don't let... I thought he was going to break. I didn't hit confirm that. That's fine, though. Nice. He's pressing a lot of buttons on his wake up. Do it. There it is. No! I tried to punish. There we go. We got it. Am I going to get this second bar of meter? No. Let's put him back in the corner with the 1 1 1. I mean, honestly, this is just how you got to deal with this, Shiva. Don't give him time. Just do not give them time to do anything. Got her, though. Very nice. Oh, that looked really weird. Just don't give them the time to do the dragon drop and just go full full steam ahead pressure. Honestly, that's the best way I've found to be able to deal with uh, someone spamming dragon drop. But it looks like he's not having it. It's not working out for him. He might switch to the jade here. And uh, that's going to be difficult. That's definitely going to be difficult to deal with. If you guys have been watching the channel, I say it every single time. There is one character in this game that I lose to 100% of the time. And you're looking at her. You're looking at her right there. <laughs> I still have no idea how to beat this character. We're going to hope 
that since we're up 1-0, that puts us in a position where we can take this set and not lose to a Jade for the 4 millionth time on this channel. But, we're gonna see what, what we can do, because as of right now, it's just a lot of jumps and Razor Rangs. I think it's just gonna be the same situation, just pressure's on. Oh, come on. So many jumps. And I mean, I can't do quicksand because he's jumping, so... The only thing I can think of here is... Uh, wow, this is really, really fun. It's fine. We're gonna do this. I'm not gonna let this dude win. Ah! Can we get a jump counter, please? No roll. I'm gonna need a jump counter in the, uh, in the comments. Count how many times this dude jumps up in the air. He just does stand for to push you back, and then it's Razor Rangs. I gotta do it. I need to slow down this dude's momentum. Clear out half of his health bar, and then do a nice forward 2-1 combo into Beta Spikes for the kill. Back throw, put him back in the corner. We're still in this, just gotta stay patient. Oh, come on. He's gonna jump back. And here we go again. Yep, that's it. He got it. Ah, wasted the fatal. Garrus, we gotta figure this out. I feel like this would be much easier if I had a different variation of Garrus, but... I mean, what are we gonna do? Honestly. But we're gonna keep this game in because... I'm sure there's people out there that are wondering how the hell do you beat this? Or how do you deal with it? So we're gonna try to figure out how to do just that. Nothing. Jeez. I wish I was any other character right now except Garrus. Honestly, <laughs> this is a nightmare. At least we got something. At least we got something. Here we go. Full combo. What? I pressed. Overhead. Got him. Crushing blow. We have to do it. I need the damage. I need any damage I can get. Oh, he did raw fatal blow. All right. It's fine. We're still in this. We are still in this. This is just one combo, one crushing blow, or I mean, uh, one sand pit, whatever it's called, sand trap. He's gonna jump. No roll, thank goodness we read that. Give us the round. All right, we're still in this. I need to win this game because I do not want to play a third game against this Jade at all. He's gonna jump backwards, more jumps. Oh, I've never even seen that move before. Ah. This guy's up on his controller, like, deteriorated at this point, because he's just doing drag and drop and jumping with Jade when he plays. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna roll. Oh, that worked? Come on. Here we go again. Here we go. Like, what am I supposed to do, guys? There's not much to do. Oh, he rolled. This is ridiculous. Oh, I forgot! Oh my goodness, Sam Pit. That's it. That's the answer. Okay. We got it. We got it. That's got to be the answer right there. Just set up Sam Pits. Don't let him jump backwards. Oh, he can get out of it though with that. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. At least now I know about it though. At least now I know about it, you know? It's all part of the Combat League experience, which is what we're showcasing here in these videos. But I actually really like that I just came up with the, uh, or I remember that we have shifting sand. So at least that stops him from constantly jumping backwards. But as we saw, he can do the, uh, the glow kick out of it. And this actually sets up some really good ones of these. If you do uh, down back one, what is it, quicksand or something? I don't know. Down two. Well, combo. I love that up two. It just reaches to the sky. Set that up. Oh, come on. Oh, he couldn't combo it. Wow, that's awesome. I see your playstyle and I raise you shifting sands. I'll set it up all day. I'll set it up all day. Is this a crush? Nope. Oh, no. How did that not... Oh, how did that not punish? I need him to jump. I should be able to kill him right here. Oh no! 
Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, come on. I said I should be able to kill him and I dropped it. Jeez. All right, if anything, I deserve to lose this set. But I'm actually really, really happy that we figured out Shifting Sand. So if you guys are having trouble with someone, um, I don't know, just jumping backwards all the time, set up the Shifting Sands. It, it really messes with them and they can't do much. And they cannot do much. Nothing there. Nice grab. I wish it lasted a little bit longer though. Just a little bit longer. There we go. It's a stand four. I was messing it up. I was doing stand three. I don't care. I'll take it. I'll take it. Walk up grab. Keep him in the corner. I mean, this is working a lot better than anything else, so I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, no. Go for the grab now. He was looking for the down two, so the grab was sketchy. Wow, we could have closed this game out right here. Wake up, roll. Come on. We could have closed the game out if I didn't drop that last combo, but you know what? At least we're keeping it interesting. Wow, who would have thought Shifting Sands is so clutch? Do I set it up, or is he going to glow kick? No blocks. Or, I mean, nothing there. Set it up. Set it up. It's gotta work eventually. Ah! Oh, the stand one grab is so confusing to deal with because you think they're gonna do the low. Caught him. Caught him again. Let's do the uh, set up the sand. Oh no! He went overhead, nice. Two blocks. Read the grab, very nice. Breakaway? No breakaway. Okay. There's the break. Jump back, as per usual. If he jumps, we win. If he jumps towards me, we win. What? How did it not work? At least, is this gonna crush? No. Still nothing. This is anybody's game right here. Oh no, and he gets the low. All right, good games. It came down to 15 health. Well, anyways, regardless, good game to that guy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was Garrus. That was a, a tough one. That was a tough loss, but you know what? At least we got to figure out that if you guys are having some trouble with Jade, Shifting Sands does help a lot. But anyway, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to leave that link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.